Welcome to a quick tour of the Gothic House Library. The library has at its core eight bookcases, each of five shelves. We are going to go across the top shelf of all eight bookcases. So let's go. Bookcase number one, shelf number one. Quite a few authors on this uh, shelf number one. Ben Aronovich. Try him. Nothing more that could be done until dawn, which was three hours away. Until then, they needed a couple of mugs to guard the crime scene until shift change, which is how I came to be standing around Covent Garden in a freezing wind at six o'clock in the morning, and why it was me that met the ghost. Who knows why the fuck anything happens? Joe Abercrombie, who's got some pretty kick-ass stuff, really. Logan plunged through the trees, bare feet slipping and sliding on the wet earth, the slush, the wet pine needles, breath rasping in his chest, blood thumping in his head. He stumbled and sprawled onto his side, nearly cut his chest open with his own axe, lay there panting. Carpet Diem is a great fun book. I highly recommend it to people like Ratchet and Co. Simon had wondered whether it was psychologically significant that an Irish Catholic girl had turned out a lesbian after her entire family was blown to pieces the first time she touched a penis. George and Sabrina had been saved by their rampaging hormones. Simon found that oddly romantic. And need I say more about uh, Geoffrey? One time member of the House of Lords, a would-be London mayor and former prisoner. Jailed in 2001, he served two years behind bars for perjury in a legal case relating to payments to a prostitute in the late 1980s. Next. We'll have to destroy him. What he destroys us. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell begin Saturday, June 13th at 10. But, but, Jonathan Strange is a big book, might be in the middle, and written by a very good girl, and I think Keith would love it. What about Tom? off Washington. Nobody'd know a thing about it until it was all over. And once more, we play our dangerous game. With our old adversaries, the American Navy. His plan is a mystery. A man with your responsibilities reading about the end of the world. Apparently he has suffered a kind of nervous breakdown in which he announced his intention to fire his missiles on the United States. Harlan Coburn. Not a name everybody knows. Worldwide, he's famous for his domestic thrillers. Coben's last 10 consecutive novels all debuted at number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Thank you very much. His 30th and newest novel is called Don't Let Go. It's the story of a New Jersey detective who's haunted by the past. He's looking for answers about... Other authors on the shelf worth a look. Let's move to the next one. Right, uh, well we've run across the first two uh, bookshelves in a bit of a rapid rate, so perhaps we should slow down a bit. There are a lot of authors on this case, and you can probably see them scrolling across the bottom of the screen at the moment. But let's just concentrate on one for now on this shelf. Let's have a look at good old Ben Elton. Something to do with children, no doubt because nobody dissed the people's kiddies, least of all the dead ones. And there were so many dead ones. Death was everywhere, in the buzz of insects' wings, in the splashing of the dirty water, and borne on the whisper of the wind. It stalked everybody, old and young alike, but it was the young who were the most vulnerable, and they suffered most. Libra Divine. Heaven has a brand new superstar. Tyson Armani, 
simply the best. Malibu, a candle in the wind. So many dead children, millions and millions of them. No stretch of pavement without its shrine, no personal web page without its catalogue of tiny faces that had looked upon the world for such a short time, but lived on now only in heaven and in cyberspace. My little sister, my tiny cousin, my boy, my girl. What are you wearing round your neck? Ah, it's my new ruff. You look like a bird who swallowed a plate. <laughs> it's the latest fashion, actually, and as a matter of fact, it makes me look rather sexy. This shelf has got such an odd mix on it, I thought we'd have a bit of a quiz. I'll play you a few soundtracks, you try and identify the author concerned, and I'll give you the results at the end. Anyway, hope you liked the questions. The answers are all authors on this shelf. But not necessarily the books on this shelf. I will put the answers somewhere, hopefully, before the end of the... Sometimes you just have to listen, really. So, let's listen. And her mother called Growing Grumbles. Personally, Nin didn't see why being 11 should make her any more bad-tempered than being 10. Toby pointed at the sacks. Nin sighed. They're sacks, moron baby. Just empty, mucky old sacks. One of the most amazing realizations of the 20th century was that quantum mechanics combined with relativity allow something to come from nothing. In fact, nothing is unstable. Religion and theology and to some extent philosophy have contributed almost to nothing to our fundamental understanding of the universe. Because questions such as what is something and what is nothing are really scientific questions, not philosophical ones. When we apply quantum... But now this door this secret passageway stood open and there was a steady stream of people through it and she was saddened that this little piece of magic had been taken from her tea was served and drinks were poured and little sandwiches were passed around on silver trays and stephanie watched the mourners casually appraise their surroundings the major topic of hushed conversation was the will I'm only going to do two books in this section. We'll start with The Recruit. And then we'll go on to something else. And then we'll have some quiz answers. After that, James, it's probably the end. You have to accept your own death. Hmm. What will I become? We are Chubb, a kite of the British Intelligence Service. Our agents are aged between 10 and 17 years old. But to join Chubb, you have to go through a test.
Where is everybody up? The dead died. Who is? Everybody died. What, Captain Hollister? Everybody's dead died. What, Todd Hunter? Everybody's dead died. What, Selby? They're all dead. Everybody's dead died. Peterson isn't, is he? Everybody is dead died. Not Chet. Lord Bennett, yes, Chet, everybody. Everybody's dead died. Rimmer? He's dead died. Everybody is dead. Everybody is dead died. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me everybody's dead? <laughs> With uh, apologies to Ian and Robert Rankin, I've hijacked this for the quiz answers from Bookcase for Shelf One. They have been here since the dawn of time. They're here now, waiting, watching. They've gone unchecked, unnoticed, and now they're monsters. I had to do a bit of Robert Rankin, though. Ends here, what by? It ends right here. The name's Woodbine, Laszlo Woodbine. Just as I was being murdered, Rizla was doing an introductory voiceover. My name is Rizla. <clears throat> Just Rizla. We've made it. We have uh, arrived at bookcase eight the top shelf. On this shelf, let's just have a good look at two authors. I was in the bathroom at school, sitting down on the toilet, humming a song. I had my pants on. I'd come in near the end of English class feeling sick. My teacher, Mr. Dalton, is great about things like that. He's smart and knows when you're faking and when you're being serious. He took one look at me when I raised my hand and said I was ill, then nodded his head and told me to go to the bathroom. Throw up whatever's making you sick, Darren, he said. Then get your behind back in here. I wish every teacher was as understanding as Mr. Dalton. In the end, I didn't get sick, but still felt queasy. So I stayed on the toilet. Raw fury in their eyes and blood on their breath. And there were worse things in Furnace, much worse. Maybe tonight the blood watch would come drag me from my cell. Maybe tonight they turn me into a monster. I dropped to my knees, cradling my head in my hands. There had to be a way out of here, a way to escape. I tried to find one in the hurricane of my thoughts, tried to come up with a plan. But all I could think about was how I came to be here, how I went from being a normal kid to an inmate in the worst hellhole on earth. How I ended up in Furnace. Got to the end of the bookcases, lots and lots of authors I wish I'd mentioned and haven't. Also I wish I had more time for each author, but I've only got a 15 minute window which isn't really very long. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, part one, and part two will hopefully be coming soon. Meanwhile, just as a brain teaser, until part two. Which author is pictured on this page? Take care and bye.